As we install vinyl, all of us get the odd bubble and wrinkle. But here are some techniques to make your bubbles and wrinkles go away. First, let's talk about how not to get bubbles and wrinkles in the first place. To start, I'm holding the vinyl loosely in my hands, letting it find the curve of the vehicle. With firm pressure and the correct angle on your squeegee, you can easily install the vinyl all the way to the bottom of the panel. Sometimes, the vinyl touches the vehicle before your squeegee places it there, which results in bubbles. Here we have a really long bubble, and here we have something that could turn into a wrinkle. And here as well. Let's get started with the long bubble. Ideally, you would like the bubble to be this size, because if it were, you could just touch it and it would disappear, due to the air egress pattern in the adhesive. When you have a long bubble like this, simply divide it up into smaller bubbles. Then, when all you have are smaller bubbles, simply place your finger or thumb on each one and they will completely flatten out. If you have a potential wrinkle like this, start working it with the Teflon squeegee. Work the wrinkle back in the direction it came from. You can see that as soon as you get closer to its origin, the wrinkle develops two corners. As you continue, cut each corner off at a 45 degree angle until you work it back to the edge of the application. Seal the edge and the wrinkle is undetectable. Sometimes we may drop the vinyl onto the vehicle and create a field of small bubbles that don't have a large volume of air. It could take some time to push them all out one at a time. In this case, use the felt side of a wet edge squeegee to firmly install a line straight through them. Here we have a high pressure bubble and the vinyl is standing off the vehicle quite a bit. It also has a potential wrinkle at one end. This one has the same wrinkle and a higher pressure profile. First, fix the largest bubble. We need it to be round. Start with the end of the wrinkle and follow it all the way back to the bubble, cutting the corners at 45 degrees. Now, reshape the bubble into a circle. Repeat the steps of removing the wrinkle first and then making the bubble round. We have a fair sized bubble here too. I suggest dividing it first before flattening it. Always remember to round the corners. We'll start with this one because it has the greatest amount of pressure. Place your finger over the center of the bubble and apply direct force to the bubble. High pressure bubbles will leave a ring of air around the edge. Treat it like a wrinkle with your Teflon squeegee and it will lay down perfectly. Here is another high pressure bubble. Start in the center and if smaller bubbles materialize, treat them as separate bubbles and they will all completely dissipate. Finally, flatten the last small bubble in exactly the same way. With these simple techniques, your applications will be bubble and wrinkle free.